How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be replacing an eight and a half ton package unit. Let's do some work. Man, should have bought a weed eater. All right, so today's project, we've got eight and a half ton package unit we're gonna be swapping out. So the existing one is straight cool uh, with electric heat. And we're gonna be going back with an actual heat pump with electric heat, so that's gonna really help them save on their electric bill and also give them a secondary source of heat, which is pretty nice. So I'm not sure why they didn't do that originally, but here we are. So uh, the crane's gonna be here in a couple hours, so that gives us plenty of time to get this guy unhooked and get ready for the new one to be set. And if all goes well, it should be a pretty straightforward change out, but you never know. So let's get to it. Gonna, there's there's another breaker that's built into this unit uh -huh. so that's where we're going to disconnect from okay. right here yep. so we take that panel off and of course you always want to verify voltage no yep. matter even if you heard the machine shut off good this is my uh, oil changing days when I worked at Jiffy Lube to, <laughs> to break the oil pan plug it's loose. You want to hold it with where it's it's holding tight against it, uh -huh. and then you hit your hand. Huh? Is you need that extra torque, right, to yep. pop it loose? Once so we can just break it out. So.
be pushing towards me. Yep. You got it, you got it, yeah. Is that down? Yep. Really close. So. Looks like it just need, your end needs to come in just a tad. Okay. Because my side is in. On that end? Maybe I'll just push it. nice. I really need to look up the wiring diagram for dual fuel setup that has multiple stages compressor and make sure that we're actually landing these in the right terminals. good now we should be able to go ahead and program this thermostat uh -huh. um, no column to base so we could probably go ahead and program this thing for what we what we have and then turn the power on so that way it's ready to go technician setup Press the menu button. Old tech set probably for three seconds. Yep. Loading.
Hey, it didn't blow up. All right, no calm to base. So now we need to, what, hit the pair button? It's flashing. so we are good to go for today now to kind of sum things up we replaced a package unit that was straight cool with electric heat as the only heat source we installed a heat pump with backup electric heat so now one thing that um, I didn't talk about earlier is that we only have enough power to either run the electric heat or the compressors we can't do both at the same time so we can't go into defrost mode and then have the electric heat running so the way we have to do this is set it up as a dual fuel system, which means we're going to have the compressors run and we're going to have an outdoor sensor uh, installed and we're going to get some parameters, let's say uh, 35 degrees, right? The heat pump, the compressors will run all the way till 35 degrees outside. And then if it gets below that, it's going to disable the heat pump, the compressor side, and it's going to enable the electric heat. And then vice versa, if it's above 35 degrees, it'll disable the electric heat. So that way we can have best of both worlds, but we won't ever have to worry about the compressor and the electric heat running at the same time. So that's kind of the workaround for this setup. So anyway, um, we're done for today. I do need to come back with that sensor because we didn't have one for this particular thermostat, but it's hot outside. We're not worried about that right now. Anyway, I'm gonna do a uh, more of a proper startup on this system as well. We're ready to get out of here. Um, but that completes today's video. Really hope you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you later.